professional. Right. At number five. Miriam's 2009. Karen, a math teacher, is involved in a tragic traffic accident for which she is not at fault. A girl on a scooter is killed in the crash. Despite her innocence, the young woman is distraught, particularly when she learns that the dead girl, Miriam, is none other than her pupil Lucas's sister in an attempt to atone for her action. She starts to give Lucas extra math lessons. Still overwhelmed by his anguish, the boy desires even more from her. At number four. Filthy, 2017. Lena is 17 years old and on the verge of achieving adulthood when she is brutally interrupted by a traumatic incident, her first love secret midnight trips, and magical mornings at the river and Bratislava lava are ruined when, physically assaulted by her math teacher, she withdraws into her shell, unable to discuss her ordeal with others, a path that is more than just coming of age, but a battle for herself. Others underestimate her and can never really comprehend her. <laughs> At number three, the commune, 2017. Hold the up. How did you say this world gets There, I'm like American, I'm like a scene, I'm like a hero. Yeah, an amusing and moving story about a family's conflict between personal desires, unity, and empathy set in a freewheeling Danish commune in the 1970s. When Anna and Eric inherit a large home, they assemble a motley crew of housemates to enliven their lives, pushing them to reconcile their current ideals with old habits. At number two. What season? 2019. The plot revolves around rambling, a school teacher who struggles with infertility while caring for her firm, father in law at home. Weilun, one of Ling's classmates, develops a crush on her during remedial Chinese lessons, and the two grow closer as Ling enjoys extra tutoring. A rare self-affirming relationship develops between a teacher and a student at a Singapore high school. At number one. The English teacher, 2013. Hand in your quizzes. Oh. Just to teach some kids how to clap their hands and run around in a circle. Linda Sinclair, a 40-year-old unmarried high school English teacher in Kingston is single aside from the relationships she has with her favorite writers and novels. She has no close personal relationships with anyone. Her life is much less complex than those shown in the drama. She devours the page and enjoys it that way. But Linda's easy. Life takes an abrupt turn as former star student Jason Sherwood returns home to Kingston after attempting to make it as a playwright in New York. Mm -hmm.